Hello, this is Dr. Timothy Jansen. I'm a family practice doctor here in Portland, Oregon. I help lead the advanced autosomal DNA meetings here in Portland that are done through ISOG. I also help give advice to various different genetic genealogy testing companies regarding their autosomal DNA testing products. These companies include 23andMe, Ancestry.com, and Family Tree DNA. What I would like to introduce today is the concept of visual phasing. Visual phasing is a chromosome mapping technique that was first developed by Dr. Kathy Johnson several years ago in California. I've been using this technique over the past year to help with my family's chromosome mapping. In particular, it's been very helpful for my mother's side of the family where my mother has two brothers and using her two brothers and the three of them together I've been able to extend the chromosome maps for my mother and also I've done this for my father to a certain extent as well. On my mother's side of the family I've been able to improve the chromosome map by about 25 percent from what I had mapped before. So basically what I had done was I had already tested various different cousins and I'd been able to use their data to help map my mother's chromosomes, but in many cases I was only able to attribute the DNA to one of her parents. But using visual phasing, I was able to increase the percentage that I had attributed to one of my mother's grandparents to over 96%, which I'm very happy about. This allows me to continue with the correspondence of the matches who share these segments with my mother and with me, and I can then eliminate many sections of the family tree from consideration as I'm trying to figure out where the genealogical connection is. What I'd like to do now is introduce basically some of the first initial elements of doing visual phasing. What you first do is you run a comparison either at a company like 23andMe or at GEDmatch. In this particular case, I got the matching segment data for my mother, her brother Lawrence, and also for Robert. And what I have here is I have the comparisons between my mother, Betty, and Lawrence, the comparison between Betty and Robert, and also the comparison between Lawrence and Robert right here. What we see is for each of these sections, the, the DNA is either fully identical right here, where we see it's FIR, fully identical, or it's half identical, and in some cases there's no shared DNA whatsoever. We use this as the basis for chromosome mapping. 